Hi, I'm E.W. Hulbert from TheAnalyticsDude.com, and if we haven't met before, I founded this site in order to help people identify the skills they need to get a job in data science, the techniques they should learn in order to be good at the job, as well as the ability to drive others to take action based on the findings that they present. And here is my journey through Microsoft's professional program in artificial intelligence, week four. Last week when we talked, I had just finished the introductory course, which was Introduction to Artificial Intelligence. And since then, I've started on the second class, which is the Introduction to Python for Data Science. I told you when I started this that I would give you the actual hours I spent and the actual money spent each week. So this week, I spent 5.2 hours since the last class on this Python course. I'm almost done with the course, actually. I only have the last two sections, one on Booleans, one on Pandas to go. And I think there's a final exam, I gotta do that too. But this one is clearly, clearly able to be finished in a lot less than the 12 to 24 hours that they say. And because this course is on the DataCamp platform and not the Microsoft Azure platform, there's no fees associated with this. So I've used none of the $200 promotional credit that I received. And to be clear, that's the same $200 promotional credit that everybody who signs up for an Azure account gets. I have no affiliation with Microsoft at this time. This course covers the fundamentals of working in Python and should be seen as foundational. You can't just take this quick course and go start working in data science. It's not that simple. Learning an analytical programming language, learning a spoken language are actually quite similar in that regard. It doesn't matter how much time you spent in the classroom. It's a totally different ball game if you go to Madrid and start trying to pick up girls at the bar. It's not that simple. Analytical programming is similar. It's all about real world usage. You can take all the classes you want, but until you've solved real world problems where no one defined the problem for you. The data wasn't given to you in a neat and tidy format. And to be honest, you're not even sure if there is a conclusion that you can solve to. Well, until you've done that, you can really only go so far. But that's not to say you shouldn't take classes like this or classes like this can't be a foundational part of your learning. Uh, in this respect, it's similar to a martial art. Uh, I was on the judo team in college and part of joining the judo team was you spent one full week falling. You didn't learn how to throw anybody, you didn't learn how to choke anybody, you didn't learn how to submit anybody. You spent the whole week falling. A couple of reasons, A, it's foundational, it's super important in order to make sure that you don't get hurt, you don't hurt other people once you do start throwing. Uh, and also a bit of a rite of passage. If you're not willing to put in the time and effort and you know, mental or in the judo case, physical pain of trying to just go through the basics, well then in, in the long run, data science or analytics probably isn't gonna work out for you. The class itself is an interesting format. There is a three to five minute video on the topic. And then they give you a quiz based on that video. And then you go to the data camp site in order to do some practical exercises using the techniques or packages that they just showed you. Now, if you care about getting credit for this, make sure to close out the data camp site every time you finish an, ex an exercise. I didn't realize there was a video quiz exercise format. So when I got to the first exercise, I thought I was supposed to do all of them. So I did like four or five in a row uh, before I quit for the night, came back the next morning and realized, oh, there's videos for all these. And it turns out, because I did it that way, it didn't give me credit. So I, I can show you this screenshot. I have a bunch of zeros in those ones. Since I don't really care about getting credit, it doesn't matter to me. I'm not going to go back through and do them over again. But if you do care about giving, getting credit for this, uh, close out of the data camp site each time you finish an exercise and watch the movie, then do the quiz, and then do the exercise. After the exercise, there's an interesting part which they have a slide they call further reading. It's a, it's a screen. It looks kind of boring. They just you know, have a bunch of text on there and some links. Um, now I know 99% of you are just gonna click through those and to be honest, normally I would do the same thing. But since I'm taking this class mostly for your behalf, you know, mine too, but mostly for yours, I, I decided to read through a lot of them. Some are just links to the source documentation on different packages or on different functions, uh, which is boring and you could always pull that up later with just a question mark or the help function. Uh, but some of them are pretty interesting. Uh, for instance, there's one on Matplotlib. Now, as you, if you've listened to me for a while, you know I'm huge on visualizations. And so Matplotlib is the primary graphing functionality inside Python. And they have a link in there, which I will link to below. They have a link in there which shows you know, some good visualizations made in Python and the source code that made them. Uh, so that's definitely a valuable resource. I've already bookmarked it. And so that's it for tonight. Um, I'm gonna finish the Python class soon. I may even finish it before I post this video. If you like this video, please hit like and share it on your favorite social network. If you wanna follow along with my progress and check in on my notes and see any solutions that I might post, please join our Facebook group, uh, which is also linked below. 
you're doing this because you want to get a job, please check out our guide to getting a job in analytics in 2018, which is also linked below. And until next time, I'm E.W. Holbert, the analytics dude. Thanks for watching.